Hi. This is going to be a show and tell video and a humming video. And there's going to be some paper crinkling as well. Um, I, I find humming very relaxing sometimes. Uh, especially when you don't recognize the song that's being hummed. And when it's somehow unintentional from someone who is concentrated on some task or maybe typing on the computer or painting or cooking or something. So the songs I'm going to hum here is from a Swedish song competition. An old TV show called the Melody Festival or Song Festival. I think these melodies, these songs, should be unrecognizable to most of you. This competition is a yearly event and it's very popular in Sweden. Today it's the m most popular TV show that we have. Or at least when it comes to the counting the mo most viewers. And this is cut from an evening newspaper from 1966. That day that the show was about to take place this year. I really like the songs from the 60s. And the TV station, they didn't record these programs back then. So I haven't been able to watch this show since it was aired long before I was born. That one and only time. And then the shows from 1974 and onwards, these were recorded and have been saved. And now you can watch them on, on the TV station's website. And you always kind of see the short clips from those shows every now and then. But some years ago, the, the shows from the 60s, they were actually aired in radio. One more time. And um, I recorded these shows and I listened to the songs several times since then. And uh, I find out that uh, 1966 is one of my favorite years. So that's why I choose songs from this year in this competition now. Here's a picture from the day after the show. And this is how it could look like when you were watching this show in front on the TV at home. Here you can see the portraits of all the performers. This is Gunver Bergqvist. The song she will sing, it sounds quite happy and it's inspired by Swedish folk music. And it was, was actually a lot of folk music inspired songs here in the middle of the 60s in this competition. Her song is called the winds of spring but it will be sung in Swedish of course because that was the only accepted language in this competition back then not today but then it was um, I'm gonna give you some lines now from the lyrics it goes like no, never will I want you, and never will I be yours. And never can you have me, until the winds of spring is coming. It 
says here that she's going to sing one of the invited entries. And it's uh, quite interesting because this year some of the composers were especially invited. And uh, uh, those composers could choose the singer to perform their song. So there were a lot of singers that you may not expect to see in this context. Uh, like an opera singer and jazz singers and actors and other entertainers. And um, Gunnar Bergqvist here, she w uh, was mostly seen in reviews at that time. Um, uh, there were this popular entertainment TV show called Estrad in the 60s. And it was a typical review kind of entertainment with uh, sketches and dancing. Um, I have watched one or two episodes of this show, but uh, what I remember is a, a, a lot of dancers suddenly popping up from nowhere <laughs> and uh, a lot of bad jokes and sketches. I wasn't really hooked. I think she's still singing and performing, but I haven't seen her seen her a lot. Here is uh, Gunnar Wiklund and it says he will be singing two songs. The first one is called Winter Rosor, Winter Roses. And uh, the lyrics, it goes like this. That summer you gave me it will never come back. Now I see the frozen roses of winter on my window. It's also a folk inspired, I think, uh, tune. And uh, Gunnar Wiklund there is uh, one of the old timers in this year's competition. He's been participated many times, many years before. And uh, his songs always sound quite uh, traditional for this competition. And the other song that he will perform, it's Vad har jag kvar? What do I have left? And uh, the lyrics to this one are really sad, I think. What do I have left when you leave? Sleepless nights, empty days. What do I have left? Yes, I know. Aching sadness and loneliness. There's uh, Gunilla of Malmborg, and she's an opera singer, and it says here that uh, her, her performance is like the odd element among the others in this competition. The song is called Var finns du? That's Where Are You? Um, or actually, 
not exactly are, but more like where uh, where do you exist or something. Um, yeah, that sounds quite strange thing to ask where you exist, but no, well, maybe not. Maybe it's a very relevant question to ask someone. Where do you exist? And something from the lyrics. My darling, my darling, I miss you so. Where are you? I miss your hand in mine. I see you in the clouds and here in the swell. and quite hard to remember exactly but this is uh, really one of my favorites this year then we have uh, Carly Tornehave here uh, his song will be a gospel Herdiga uh, Sundag Sweet Sunday and it says uh, that uh, in this competition there will be songs from very different uh, various uh, uh, musical genres like uh, jazz walls and even rococo style music and this is yeah this is a gospel and um, Carly Tornabe, he is also one of the old timers in this competition, just like Gunnar Wiklund here. Sweet Sunday. A sweet Sunday that I've truly been longing for. Here's my sweet Sunday. Sweet Sunday when I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she is uh, actually more known as an actor and uh, her song is also inspired by folk music and uh, jazz uh, it's called En Röd Vals A Red Walls the light goes out and the moon awakens all by myself I'm humming on a waltz. Red is a love that I miss. Red is every note in the sweet waltz of my longings. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
in a TV show called The Department Store from the late 80s and there she played an old lady that was the boss in the fashion department and then there was this young trendy woman that started to work there and who wanted to make some changes and then Monica's her character became so jealous and mad at her and I really liked that character uh, here's Lil Lindfors. Uh, she's been a really popular singer in Sweden through the years and can still be seen on TV performing. It says here that she will sing two songs. Uh, but the first one here, Monte Carlo, uh, was actually sung by Carly Tornehave and not Lil Lindfors. And Monte Carlo. It's a bossa nova song about uh, casino gambling. Here's the sea, and if only I dared, I would jump into it. But the water's too cold. But who is that? I think it's a friend, a croupier. Bet on red if you're tired of life. <laughs> she actually did sing uh, was a duet together with uh, Svante Thurison here it was called Ny Gammal Vals New Old Waltz and this was actually the winning song from this year a very jazz inspired song and there were a lot of complaining afterwards that this song actually won Instead of some of the more traditional songs like Gunnar Wiklund's songs. So. And then um, uh, in the lyrics the word hip is used. And this was a completely new word in Sweden. So uh, the day after it was uh, explained in the newspaper and translated as groovy or jazzy. And uh, the lyrics... Uh, contains a lot of newly invented words and phrases like uh, gosh in the caramel and clunk in the chanterelle and I'd like to drum de dum on your saucepan mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And then Svante Turesson, he was singing one song by himself, and it was called Hey Brother, Hey Sister. Hello brothers, hello sisters. And uh, it's another gospel song from this year. And uh, it's about the young generation that wants to change the world and just be happy. Hello sisters, hello brothers, in east, west, south and north. No one has asked for being born to this earth, so let's nab every tyrant on our planet and send them away in a rocket. She will sing a very slow melody, it says here, um, and uh, her speciality recordings is sweet ballads, and the song is called En Ballad om för länge sen, a ballad about a long time ago, and I guess this must be the Rococo style song that was mentioned before. Um, and Anne Louise Hanson is uh, the singer that's been competing in this show the most time of all singers ever in Sweden. Uh, I think it's about 13 or 14 times. But she has never won it, so. But she's still active as a singer, so maybe it's not too late. And the lyrics is about someone who has read about. Tristan and Isolde and a lot of other historical love couples and quite bitter points out that this was a long time ago and this is also one of my favorites a lot has changed since then but it's written about the men of those days they stayed true the whole life through but that was a very long time ago it. This is the new paper, newspaper from the day after the show and um, yeah the reactions were we should send Winter Russer or yeah it's uh, Gunnar Wiklund's melody or Anne-Louise Hansson's melody instead. Uh, 
yeah, uh, I didn't mention that, but uh, the winning song was to be sent to the European final later that year, the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, and then uh, here's some thing about the the lyrics of the winning melody of the winning song and here's the translations and the explanations of the of the new words that no one had heard before hip it means uh, groovy jazzy uh, to dig it means listen or like to swim slowly it means take it easy gosh in the caramel and Splat in the medallion. It's funny expressions. It's like uh, expletives. And uh, the death in the pot. It means silly or no, maybe bad. It means bad, I think. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching sleep well bye I'm gonna finish my tea in the other room and watch some TV